Hello everyone, in this video I'll be talking about making the transition to the new system. The learning objective for this video is as follows. After watching the video, students should be able to describe the main steps of transitioning to a new system and the elements of a migration plan. The key ideas involved in migrating to a new system are as follows. Transitioning to new systems involves uh, managing change from pre-existing norms and habits. So there are three basic steps. First is unfreezing, or in other words, loosening up people's habits and norms. People get used to doing things a certain way, and when you implement a new system, it takes time to change and get them out of those habits. Hopefully the unfreezing started during the analysis and design phases. Next you move, which is transitioning from the old to the new system. And finally you want to refreeze, that is institutionalize and make habits of the new way of doing things. In order to make these three steps happen smoothly, it's imperative that the organization come up with a migration plan. A migration plan gives specific details about how to prepare the organization, the technology, and the people for the changes that will happen when the new system is implemented. We won't go into detail about the technological aspects in this class. Again, this should be straightforward if the analysis and design phases have been successful. Please check out the rest of this week's online lecture videos to learn more about preparing the organization and preparing the people to accept the new system that you've implemented.